Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. It's a fact, man. It's a fact for me, anyway. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 187, NASDAQ up 282, NAS S&P's up 45, gold. Gold contract up $11.70, trading at 1996 an ounce. We have silver up $0.06, cents, $24.43 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 27 cents, eighty dollars thirty six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note up eleven ticks, trading eleven one eleven eleven. Thirty year up twelve ticks at one twenty four oh eight. And king dollar, king dollar trading down one thirty seven at one oh one six thirty six. The euro is at one ten. The yen is at one forty one. The British pound is at one twenty eight to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. Well, we're going to get our heads wrapped right around the futures first. We just did that update, and you can. We're going to go right to the same place and take a look at this thing. So, what you have right now, you're up forty five points, and you know, bottom line is that you know we'll see whether this thing wants to go down there. But you got to keep in mind once again. You get another high volume low that's laying here. So pay attention to that, even coming into the close today. And if you don't hit it today, guess what? Pay attention to it on Monday, because that, that baby's going to get hit. Actually, oh, I see what this did. Oh, hold it. Interesting. I got to pull this up. No, what was this? Was that? I see what we just did here. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Recalculate here. This is what's going on. This was coming into the opening bar, and it had lighter volume, 69,000 versus, I missed that one, versus 39. Yeah, now this doesn't have to come back. That's what's going on here. See this? That opening bar? That's what's going on. Even though it's a higher volume, that was coming into a much higher volume. Got below it, rejected it. Yeah, so that doesn't have to do it. And I suspect we're going to be the same in the NQs. One second, let's take a look at this. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. That is not cool. Okay, let's take a look at the NQs. Gonna be, yeah, it's the same thing. NQs. Where are we? Right there. Yep, that's what it did. Unreal. Uh, man, that's unusual. Okay, bottom line, you, you that that bar. That even the NQs, 15,000 was coming into that opening bar of 38. So this thing's good. This thing can stay at the highs. That's the bottom line. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. What do you have with the gold contract out here? Gold came down hard yesterday and you had volume on the way down. And we didn't test it today. So that's still wide open for a test. Let me put get the volume behind this. There we go. So you can see that expansion. We rolled contracts here, but you can see that was uh, 190,000 con. No, yeah, 190,000 contracts. We're going up from 154. We got 190. That's that. That wants to get tested again. Now the dollar is going to get really interesting here because what we have is that we came all the way up to ice, and you know, like literally. That being said, what we also had is that we had that wide-ranging bar yesterday. And, you know, the bottom line, is, as our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, would say, they don't come in ones, folks. So I suspect what we're going to probably do is we're going to probably go to the top of the range. Not all the way up, but the top of that range would be 103,500. You know, it busts through, the, it busts through ice because you can... You know, it's pushing in here today. And you do have a doji. So, you know, doji is saying, hey, man, it can pull back. But I'm kind of going with the aspect that's kind of going to blow it through it. And then what, what you'd still have is that that would still be, 
Yeah, look at that. It'd be a, it'd be a point. There would be a seven six point four retracement of the whole move, and that would be saying that the next time down you wouldn't break out the lows. It's kind of how it's set up. Now, what we are going to have out here today is this. Now, that's on the that's intraday, right? On the dailies, what you're going to have is that you know the bottom line is that yesterday we had a high volume high, and we gave it up on price. That wants to be tested. Yeah, I suspect what's going to probably happen, we're going to probably test it on light of volume. And if that's what we get, then you can fire away. You know, yesterday, we did 92 million shares yesterday. It took out the 65 million. You know, I'm going to say this in a small ABC up. Yeah, really can. That's interesting. Never thought about it that way. Hmm. But that's what, it, that's what it has done. We'll see how, it, we'll see how this, that's interesting. Man. Let me, let me, yeah, let's... <laughs> Yeah, so this is a heads up, man. You know, but today you can see what's happening. We're going up in 53 million. We'll probably test it Monday or Tuesday. We go into the QQQs. That's going to be the same type of setup inside the QQQs. You know, we're already at the highs of the QQQs. Look at that. So yesterday we went from a price point of that 384.71. It came down fast and furious, 65 million shares. Well, you're going, you have 384. Oh, one right now, you went to 52, you're getting up there at 45 million versus 65 million. You know, that, the, the, the cues are the ones you really want to watch for basically some good signals, folks. Because the cues right now are weaker than the S&P. And the cues love to lead the market. The NDX 100 leads the market up, leads the market down, it drags it all over the place. That's, that's just how the cues in the NDX 100 works. You know, yeah, it's not like each and every day, but it's pretty close. And then, of course, put that together with the dollar. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 194. You get the Nasdaq up 278. S&P's up 46. Stay right there, folks. Good night, man. Mr. Larry Pizzamento coming up.